Hi, I just finished watching Chainsaw Man and I really liked how the characters looked like and the anime itself, so I impulsively ordered a custom diamond painting with them. So before ordering it, I had to find a picture that I liked and wanted to do. I wanted all the characters to be in it and I also needed something with a lot of color and a lot of stuff going on because it's boring to use just one color for a long time. I found this picture on Etsy, a beautiful art from Saki Gaoka, but I didn't just want to use their picture, so I took it to Procreate and changed it a little bit. I re replaced the characters with the ones from anime because I really love how they look in the like original form but I left some little things from the art because I really love how it looks so this is how my version looks like I don't know might have made it worse but <laughs> let's begin then For the most part, I wanted this video to be ASMR-ish because I like the sound the diamond painting makes, but I do want to say a couple of things anyway. So this is my second painting ever, and the first one I did was with square diamonds, and I didn't find them too comfortable to use because they kept turning to the side a little bit and making the roll look wobbly. So people in the comments recommended I try brown diamonds instead, and here they are, and uh, I like them even less. <laughs> They leave too big of a gap in between, and you can also see the black outline on the canvas if you don't stick it exactly in the circle, which I often did not. And also the little tray that, that they give you to organize the diamonds. The dividers in it were too narrow, so the diamonds kept getting stuck in them. But the most annoying part of it was probably this see-through cover. The previous one I had was like sort of fabric or something, and this one is like plastic or whatever this is, and it kept kept bouncing back when I peeled it off a little bit and I had to tape it down, but it wasn't too comfortable to do that all the time, so I began cutting off chunks of it. But then I was kind of forcing myself to work on it longer to finish a bigger section if I cut off too much and my hand was sticking to it all the time and it was so noisy and I have no idea why they decided to change the fabric one to this one, um, probably because it's cheaper, but I really did not like it. <laughs> Also, when I was making this picture, I made the background in a gradient, because that's how it was in the original picture, and I kind of liked how it looked, and I didn't even think twice about it, but then I began doing the diamond painting and got to that part, and I was like, why the heck is this section checkered all of a sudden? And then it dawned on me, and <laughs> now I understand that using gradient was not the best idea. So at the top we have this red color, and then this peachy color at the bottom, and then we have this section in the middle, where they were supposed to be mixed, and it started off pretty good, but then it just sort of stopped very abruptly, so you can clearly see the line where the part where they were supposed to be mixed and just turns to solid color again, so <laughs> no gradient for the next time.
Okay, so here it is. Here's the final result. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I don't. I mean, it's cute, and from far away, you can actually tell who these people are and what this is, but at the same time, there's like way too much empty space. I'm actually thinking about cutting the borders off so that it's like this. Oh my god, stuff is falling off. But I'm not sure. I don't want to make a mistake of cutting it off and then regretting it. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. But let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you like diamond paintings at all? And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.